Look at me. Got a dog licking my hand over there. Show do. What is happening, Cog Squad? This is a Saturday evening over here on the 40. Hope you guys are doing well today. Let's see who's fixing to pop on here. We are streaming live from YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter today. First time on Twitter. Woohoo. Mm hmm. All that, right, Hitch? so let me go here. I need to change this real quick. Switch accounts. And let's get this where it's not the comments are uh, slowed down. Slowed down. And maybe bigger. Uh, customization, slow mode, save. Switch. And when we get through with this, we should have plenty of people on here tonight. They're not out partying. They're not out partying. I just stay here and party. <laughs> That's right. It's a big party here every day. It's a party in my tummy. So yummy. Not in my tummy. We had on a, my farmy. We had a good supper, though. Yeah. That's why you were thinking party in my tummy. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's a lot of clicking. I know. Sorry, people. We're coming. Now. Hey, Here we go. Look at there. <laughs> what is happening, everybody? This is another episode of the Podcast Podcast coming at you live. I see lots of states, but I also see Australia Just and saw Canada. Australia. Isn't that something? And Canada. Go and Bucks. New Zealand. Just it. there. New Zealand. New Zealand. Go Buckeyes. I saw somebody say go Buckeyes. And we had a roll tide today. How Alan? about that? Roll tide. Yeah. And our Texas people may not be happy with us. but They may not. May not be happy with us. But that was a great game. Yeah. It's just a game. Everybody's a winner. Yeah. Well. Let's... I used to not feel that way though. <laughs> the older you get, the, the less more important. calm. Yeah. It, is, it ain't right? that the truth. It really is. I mean, it's, it's, it's important. But yeah. It doesn't necessarily make or break the way your day goes. No, it doesn't. Us anyway. Right. It may some of you, but right. not us. We're just always happy. That's right. Texas here. We're sorry about the loss. And I think that's right. I think they had two big losses. A and M lost too. A and M lost too. Good gracious. But a lot of our people on here may not be football fans. That's they right. may be here because they may be Cog Hill Farm people. Maybe so. <laughs> oh my gracious. Well, I am gonna say right off the bat, Gidget's playing with a squeaky toy, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> what you I got, Gidget? You know, that's so, that happens so often that I really wasn't even it thinking. It doesn't bother us, does it? No, I wasn't even thinking about explaining <laughs> what it was. <laughs> oh, me. Well. Got to say right off the bat. Right off the bat, the cabinet guys didn't show up today. Nope. Um, But, but, uh, for the YouTube folks that didn't uh, watch it last night, is that we have... <laughs> Well, what's, what's something else, too? The Facebook people don't know us either. But we did pick out our stain colors. And this is the stain board that the cabinet guy gave us. And here is one, two, three, four, five different colors here. And we originally thought about doing this one for the, the island and doing this darker one for the uh, bathrooms. But the next morning, this morning, when the sunlight was coming in and all that, we thought this one would look better in for the island too so we're going with a mahogany color for the island That's um, right. but the guys they didn't come today but they said they would be here on tuesday to install the cabinets because they didn't have they were late getting this to us and, yeah and they had to have the color stain we wanted because otherwise they wouldn't have nothing but the one set of kitchen cabinets there you know I think we said last yeah. night that we kind of knew that there was no way you could get them stained and and brought right overnight. That's right. So, all in all, I without dwelling on it, I think it's best that all of them come at one time. Yeah, I agree. 
and there was no choice given, but right. you know, just, just because. So we're just going to hang in there mm -hmm. like a hair in a biscuit. That's right. And wait until next week because that's, right. that's how we roll. But, but even though the cabinet guy didn't show up today, the cabinet guys didn't show up today. We had a trespasser. We had a set of trespassers trespass on our property that just showed up out of nowhere. They did. I mean, just showed up. I mean, who in the when world? When I saw them coming down the driveway, I thought to myself, <laughs> who in the oh, world? I don't know gracious. anybody in that kind of truck. Who in the world? Who is this? Well, I'm going to show you a picture. and see Who if, is this? I don't know if I can get my picture to focus. <laughs> well, there's oh. a picture of the barn that I would love to have one day. That's right. But without, where's the camera? It's right there. Who is that? <laughs> Who are those two people? Oh, my gracious. Let me focus a little better. Don't you tell them who it is. I'm not going to tell them. They got to figure it out. I'm sure they figured it out. Who is that? Look at there. And look, that's our emu in the background. That is Nuggo. Where'd it go? Oh. Yeah, well, you're going to time out there yeah, for a second. Yeah, that's why I don't there. edit the videos. Yeah. You're going to time out there for a second. Those people. <laughs> Right, that you saw, <laughs> drove up to our house today. Oh, they did. We, um, Lester and Jamie from gosh, they got like 42 channels. Can I name them all? We got I'm a Survivor, Donkey Sanctuary, Longhorn Lester's, and Suits to Boots. That is three. I channels, know, I'm Jason. just picking. I'm we just have, picking. We have, <laughs> we have three channels. We have three channels. <laughs> What am I saying? We have three channels now, right? But guess what? What? This was the first time that I got to meet That's Lester right. or Jamie. That's right. So I would say it was a very... Hey, Mary hey, Carl. Hey, Mary Carl. She was tiptoeing. It was a very special day for all of us. It was. It was a great day. Um, they came by and, well, long story short... They are the proud owners of our camper. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thought I was upset about those cabinets, didn't you? That's right. Oh, I'm going to put on a smile now because those morrows, they came and they hooked it up and they drove out the gate. And I said, yep. So they came. We had a great time, y'all. It was unbelievable. They're such nice people. They are the most kind-hearted. Um, for real loving people, um, we just love them to death. Uh, if they lived anywhere close to us, we would be hanging out with each other a good bit. But they're they're great, great folks. Love them to death. I told Jamie, I said, I'm gonna be honest with you. We like don't hang out with people because our friends just. I mean, the friends that we had at one time that were in high school, yeah. they've all got their own family. That's right. Our friends have other lives. Um, mm -hmm. No, not lives. You're right. Lives right. that involve their own families. And here we are creating a family with people that are so like minded as we are. Yes. And y'all, I'm here to tell you if we lived nearby, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Doing oh, yeah. this live because we'd be hanging we'd be out. We'd be at their live. <laughs> we'd be doing their live because we're just. Oh, me. I'm the type of person that gets real worked up over something new happening. It just gets the best of me. Right. And it's just change. And I'm sure it does to everybody. But me, I think, more so than most. But when they pulled up today and got out of their truck, mm -hmm. I felt so comfortable. That's right. Because they're just normal people. And I think that's why so many people, um, you know, flock to them. Yeah. And I, a lot of followers. A lot of followers. Yep. But they're just likable people. They and really anybody are. Anybody that doesn't see the good in, in those two, you're missing right. out. They are. They're great people. And the biggest hearted just they really are and uh, we had a great time they they saw everything um jamie was amazed at the 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 feathered friends as yeah. lester called it she loves feathered friends and so 
Mary Carl took her on a grand tour. Yeah. Um, I think she saw every bird Mary Carl owns. Yeah. She, um, Mary Carl put on a pigeon clinic and then Mary Carl took her down the hall to take a right into her bedroom. Right. Where the next thing you know is one of Mary Carl's little parrots was sitting on Jamie's shoulder <laughs> and Jamie's going, Oh, <laughs> and I told her, I said, um, hmm. I said, you know what? I said, they make a good bit of noise. Yeah. They, you know, they're not really ever all quiet. Right. There's never a time when they're not making noise. I said, and, and that probably is why they're in this bedroom because that kind of stuff just gets to Jason after a while. And you know what she told me? What? Lester too. That's why I don't have one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but after a while, the 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 constant. But I tolerate it. I don't. Fuss well, yeah, about every, it. Every, yeah, everybody's different. Right. Makes the world go round, of course. Right. But you know, there's there's certain birds outside that get on your nerves, and I mean, it is the Egyptian geese are the, the worst. Egyptian geese. <laughs> They're the ones that really get on my nerves. And Mary oh, my Carl gracious. said the other day, she said, "Mama, I don't know what it is about those Egyptian geese that Daddy." gets annoyed about because she said annoying to me is paris our oh, yeah. little nubian spotted goat that yeah. was born this year when she doesn't see her mama within <laughs> four feet lets out the biggest wail you've ever heard in your life you could hear it you can at the old farm you can. from standing here that's and right. she does it until her mama acknowledges her that's right and y'all it, it it's comical to me mm -hmm. but Obviously, it gets on Mary Carl's nerves. And, it does. And that's just the difference. It's, yeah. You don't find it annoying. No, I don't. But you know what I just realized? What? I haven't heard Paris in two days, I don't think. I don't know where you've been. Okay. I missed uh, her then. She's a hollering. <laughs> oh, trust me. I know. <laughs> she stood on the wire spool today <laughs> and looked around everywhere and hollered for her mama. And I know she could see her. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind. She said, there's my mama. She 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 is something else. She's I'm very like, vocal. She's she very is. vocal. Oh my gracious! But it doesn't it bother it doesn't bother me, and it doesn't bother you. No, parents don't bother me too much. The Egyptian geese are the worst. I, it's a terrible call. Is it? It's like. Wah. <laughs> it's kind of like a crow times a thousand. It's really loud, and, and I, they and they got where. He sits right. I don't know if it's the boy or girl. I don't know which one it is. Do I don't you know? know which one it is either. I'm, I'm guessing it's the boy because he's probably trying to call her well, up. She's got a band on the boy. Okay. So I'll have to I'll have to ask her because the 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 Egyptian geese to me are the worst. And I saw somebody say guineas. And yeah, and guineas are rough too. Guineas used to get on your nerves. Guineas would get on my that? nerves, and it's really bad. You know what? I guess the most frustration is. Is not that it actually, you know, mentally just drives me insane. It's that a lot of times you're filming. So I'm out there filming and I'm trying to make a video. And then, you know, you get interrupted 426 times by, you know, a loud Egyptian. But you know what? <laughs> That's nature, Jason. I know, I know it's nature. Trust me. I know. <laughs> and, I, and I tolerate it. And uh, it's uh, but it does get kind of crazy. This one's another one that gets oh, on. She, that one really does. After she a gets, while, she gets on Jason's nerves. She does. She um, <laughs> especially when they were what? <laughs> I'm just laughing at this fool. <laughs> especially, she's got a little dirt on her nose at the end of it. I don't know what she's been doing. Yeah. Especially when they were in the kennel out there by the camper. And you were trying to do something inside the camper. Oh, gosh. And she would not stop. It's nonstop. It's not like that she just does it for a few seconds or a few minutes or whatever. It is a constant nonstop. And it'll be 20, 30, 40 minutes. I don't know yeah. how she didn't wear herself. Slap, silly, barking. It's crazy. But since we've had this little fence up over here. Yeah. I have only heard her bark at my shadow in the window. And she thought it was another person. She thought there was a person out there. <laughs> that was going to And I was waving you. at her and she was, oh, she turned While into While you a, were holding her. Yeah. She turned into a tack mo because she, she wasn't going to let anything happen to her mama. Look at her sleepy. Yeah. yeah. Sleepy. Well, oh, I say this. Um, they have thoroughly enjoyed the new area. Oh, they, big time. they got it licked. Everybody's going in and out. For the, um, Doggy. For those that don't know, the fence people came yesterday 
and the fence is installed for the pups. So now the pups can stay here full time. We don't have to carry them out to the kennel. Oh my gosh. Bring them back over here. Y'all, it's fantastic. So the pups are all here full time. It took them about a day. Don't you think a day to figure the doggy door out? Well, Mary Carl stayed here yesterday afternoon. Right. And you and I ran over to the cabinet guy to pick up the stain board. To pick up the stain board. We got back and Mary Carl said, well, Arlo's already got the door figured out. Mm -hmm. And we said, how do you know? And she said, because I saw him out my bedroom window. And wow. then I heard him come back in. Come back in. So when we heard him on the live, that wasn't his first time. That wasn't his first rodeo. But Gidget now, it took her just a little bit longer. It did take her a little bit longer, but everybody has figured out the doggy door. That's and they're right. constantly going in and out. And we haven't had any accidents yet in the no, house. No. Zero. It's, <laughs> it's been very nice <laughs> weather been, here today. Hadn't it been? It's been, it, we're going to say it's fall, like, even though it's probably 88 degrees today. But I, ha was, I wore pants today. It was, we're wearing pants in 88 degrees. <laughs> Yesterday, Alabama. <laughs> yesterday, um, yesterday <laughs> evening, I believe it was yeah, late yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Before we did the live, yeah, it was before we went and picked up the cabinet board. Mm -hmm. I had to go down to the barn for some reason, and I drove on the side by side. And we have like a little gravel road that goes down there. And as we were going downhill, I said to myself, "I am not looking forward to winter." Because it was a chill in the air, and I had to come in and put pants on. Y'all, when it gets 60 degrees in here, in we're Alabama. We're going to have a fire. We're going to be roasting marshmallows, sitting on the couch. What else are we going to do? We're going to drink we're coffee. We're wearing our toboggans. Uh-huh. That's a sled, by the way. I'm learning some new lingo. Oh, my gracious. We call it's toboggan so a, funny, though. a hat, but. Some of y'all say it's a sled. It's a sled. There's some. There's a little invisible line where toboggan changes from sled to hat, <laughs> like pecan and pecans. Well, that's um, right. But it's I, I get so tickled at how different areas, everything's so much different. You know, even though we're in the, you know, we got fans all over the country, but all over, all over the, the world. I mean, yeah, but, not country. But um, it's funny how different states, the climates are so much different. You know, here. You know, even even like we have we had a lot of people ask about the Victorian crown pigeons. Are they yeah. going to get cold? What we you know we've going on close to two years of owning these things. Yeah, and we haven't any trouble. No, I yet. think it was just a year because it was while we were moving when they brought them. But was, you were staying over here that night. We had the camper already. But I thought we got them several mm -hmm. several several months ahead of time because they were we in did the, yeah. before we moved. Yeah, yeah. But you were already going. So it's, well, it's probably been over a year already. Oh, it's been over yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've had them for probably a little bit. Probably about a year on. and a half. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. And so we haven't had any issues with with these uh, Victorian crown pigeons. And um, but you know our winters are so mild here it doesn't get cold here until december now last year um during the winter they were inside the mary carl didn't want me to call it this anymore but i'm gonna call it that the purple but, pigeon palace purple pigeon palace <laughs> they were inside there last yeah, winter that's right and so it was an enclosed area mm -hmm. well y'all know how long it's taken us to do this mm -hmm. aviary a long time from december to september that's right i don't know how long that is it's a long time it's I a think long it's time. ten months, but I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> um, we do have plans, or at least I do. Mm. Maybe on mine and Mary Carl's video, because I can do this. Is to wall off um, two sides of it, mm -hmm. and maybe put a big barn sliding door in the front. So on those really cold nights, and I'm talking about thirty two degrees, we can put them in there, and they can right. be more comfortable. Right. But. Um, they were from the area around Dallas. Mm -hmm. They were. They came from Texas. They came from Texas. Yep. And um, she said, the lady we got them from, um, they got down in the bottom of their property. Mm -hmm. You can come by. What's wrong? Okay. In the bottom of their property, mm -hmm. and it snowed really hard. It was That's during right. that, that hard snowstorm mm -hmm. in Texas. And um, they were outside, and they made it. And she was very surprised very because surprised. there was no shelter whatsoever. Yep, that was that rough blizzard in Texas. Yes. Yeah. So we will have them properly prepared for winter, um, whatever it takes. I mean, 
Yeah. If I mean, we have to worst buy case something. Scenario, worst case scenario, they can go into Purple Pigeon Valley. Yes, and that's what I think, is yeah. we can c always cut a hole in it, yeah. and they can go in and out and then as when they the please. cold weather is out, just put them back. Just that's put right. them back outside. That's right. So. It won't be a bit. They, they're used to living in there, so mm -hmm. um, we can do that. Yep. So it's this. It's no big deal. The canned and, ham's uh, still here, y'all. Lester oh yeah. didn't take mm -mm. it. He got. He got the. Um, he got the big camper. The big camper we've been living in. He got the big. Yeah, I'm we sorry. Still got the I didn't ham. mean to stop, but I saw that and I knew I wouldn't remember. There was a lot of people saying, "What about snow? What are y'all? What are the? We, it don't snow here. Once I mean, every five years, it might if, come a dusting. Yeah, y'all. If we, if we get a quarter inch of snow here, where we're at here in Alabama, the, the world entire shuts city, down. everything shuts down. Quarter inch of snow, all the bread's gone, all the milk's gone. And that's like a the week in advance if the they're grocery, talking about the snow. The grocery stores are empty, and by lunchtime, all the snow's melted. <laughs> every <laughs> every time, almost. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, it's crazy. But it is that's, crazy. that's just the kind of mild winter that we have here. It is. And when we make snowmen, you know, in, in our snow here, when, this we, tall. when we do have it, it's, they got fit in mud, a it's got mud all in it and sticks and and leaves because we don't have that much snow to make pretty, pretty clean, super white, you know, like you think of a snowman. <laughs> we had a blizzard in 1992. Do you remember that? That was the big one. And we but, had one recent, I say recently, well, I did a video on it. It was yeah, pretty big. You were working at the dealership then, mm -hmm. so um, probably five years ago. Yeah, I think so. But Four it, or five years ago. You know, it was hit or miss. That's it right. was, you know, parts of Alabama got, uh, Dust covering, I guess you'd say, and then parts got some that melted by after. If we get an inch or more, I mean, that is huge. That's like once in a lifetime event here. Somebody just said northern Alabama gets colder than central Alabama. They yes, do. absolutely. There, there are parts of, well, that's I guess I, all. That's why I said our part of Alabama. Yeah, there's, there's parts of Alabama. The further north you go, you're getting close to Tennessee, so you can get on up there in um, some cooler weather. Um, Mary Carl's friend Caroline mm -hmm. moved up near Huntsville. It's in Decatur, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And this past year, they got snow several times and they didn't even get out of school for it. Yeah. Here, <laughs> I'm telling you. Here, school shut down for a month. <laughs> it shuts down. The lunch truck it, can't run. I mean, it's terrible. It, the cities are just like a ghost town. <laughs> And those that those that are out riding around are skidding their car sideways and they can't drive because they don't know how. But, but we all could be outside barbecuing out here and the tornado siren go off. <laughs> That's true. And we're like, well, let's look at our phone and see what the weather looks like. <laughs> yeah. here. Um, you know, we don't panic at all because we're used to it. So yep. That's right. I guess that's the difference, I reckon. Yeah. That, that's the difference. We're so, um. So, yeah, we got a super, and that's why we can grow so much stuff in the fall, our fall garden. We can actually grow more stuff in the fall and winter here than we can in the summer. That's right. So, yeah, we have a very, 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 very mild winter here. A couple of years ago, it was when we grew our first big fall garden. Mm -hmm. And I told you, because I helped you with that garden, mm -hmm. and I'm not usually um, very helpful in the garden, mm -hmm. but I helped you with it, and I also helped you consume a lot of it. That's right. And I told you, I said, please, let's do this from year after year That's after right. year, because there were so many good things it's that were so good. easier to grow because it of is. the pest pressure was lower, mm -hmm. and we weren't out there in the 105 degree, 100 100 what is it 90 percent humidity yeah 100 percent humidity yeah soaking sweat and um it, it's just much easier to work with it really this is. time of the year it really is it, yeah. um it, a lot less pest a lot less weeds that's right it's, it's uh, uh, and it's a lot more comfortable out there so yeah much we, easier. we love fall garden i do i love fall garden well i do too because you know, as I've gotten a little bit older, I said, <laughs> I love the summer. That's what you used so to tell much. me all the time. And it's not that I don't love the summer. Mm -hmm. After we moved out here to where there's so much wide open pasture and not nearly as much shade cover as what we had at the old farm, I'm thinking to myself, could we just drop it about five degrees, please? Mm -hmm. Because the temperature is either raising or my hormone levels going crazy <laughs> or I'm out in the middle of a pasture versus being in the shade because it's hot. It is, but luckily we got wind here. So we do have we got, wind. We got the wind going here. So, but you know, it felt like in the middle of the summer. Yeah. I don't know if this is possible, 
But in the middle of the summer, which I mean, we're still in summer, but mm -hmm. in June, July, mm -hmm. I felt like the wind had disappeared. It did for a little bit. But now it's back. It's back. And I'm appreciating it until it gets below 50. And it's a breeze. It's not like a big blowing wind. It's That's a breeze. That's right. It, yeah. Um, we put the rest of the tarps out in the garden the other day, <laughs> yesterday. Right before a storm. And Jason wanted to get it put out before it rained because mm -hmm. the soil will compact so, so if we had not tarped it before that rain came. Yeah, I wanted to get it get it tarped out before that rain came because... um. Jason likes fluffy soil. That's right. That's right. He likes it to not be pounded down like a brick i don't want he it like a brick. It to be fluffy he wants to be, like to be able to take ball. his fingers mm -hmm. and and if we had let it rain on it before we put that tarp on mm -hmm. it would have been like a brick it eventually would have been like a brick yeah so we yeah if y'all hear something it's mary carl's birds bonbon bonbon is the new one yeah, I talked to them. Well, we recorded our next video today. Got a new video going to come out. It's going to be out on Tuesday, I believe. On Tuesday is the plan. Um, and you're thinking it's going to be a little trial here. It's yes. going to be a little trial on your, your Mary Carl's and your videos. But yes. you're thinking that you think that you can get one out on Tuesday. And you think you can get one out on Thursday. Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that'll give you guys five solid days of car kill if you don't get tired of us. <laughs> right? If y'all don't get tired of us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I talked to Jamie today. Yes. And, um, and Lester. Mm -hmm. Not not to leave anybody out. <laughs> but um, well, Me and Lester were doing a lot of talking. Yeah, y'all were. Y'all so. were. You and Jamie and Mary Carl were hanging out. Yes. Yeah. So um, Jamie said that she thought that people would like me just sitting out there just talking with my animals yeah. and just walking around. I and, agree. And so I'm thinking that maybe I could get some of that talking out because sometimes I don't have anybody to talk to and Gidget gets tired of listening. <laughs> and I go out there and I just talk, talk, talk. <laughs> and if y'all would listen to me, I will talk. Oh, my gracious. I will talk. Oh, me. So I'm thinking that maybe on Thursday mm -hmm. I can do my talking thursday with brooke and it'll still be miss Coghill because ms if you guys i are, changed it what'd you change it to? because M mrs because we're getting so many comments about it so i changed it <laughs> so don't even bring it up well i didn't even know it and it's supposed to be my youtube channel i changed it yep i got it was just so many people commenting on it so i went ahead and changed it but talking you talking about having nobody to talk to well, let me tell you what i do you talk to yourself, I, I know. Talk to myself all the time. Jason. Like, nonstop. Jason, what is it? <laughs> Nothing. You Jason, hear, I heard you say you something. You hear me talking. You're like, Jason, where are you? Who, what is it? And I'm and like, no, I'm just talking to myself. I can remember one time when we were dating. <laughs> yeah. My daddy was still alive. So this was before the year 2000. Mm -hmm. My mama told you when we were sitting in the kitchen yeah. on Dixie Drive. Jason, you don't have to tell people that you talk to yourself, son. <laughs> you can just say that you're speaking out loud. I do. And I look, I said to myself, I said, he is talking to himself. There ain't no way around it. He's talking to himself. I help myself out a lot. I got good advice for myself. <laughs> well, and so now y'all know where I'm coming from oh, when man. I say I talk and nobody's listening because he's too busy talking to himself to listen to me. Hey, but I bet you there's a lot of other people out there that talk to their self a lot because I do it a lot. Well, I will tell you that this past week, mm -hmm. there have been a couple of times when you've said, you say something to me? And I said, no, I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> and I'll say whatever I'm fixing to do. <laughs> yesterday, did yesterday. I did it yesterday. You were I said, call the... um. Central access. That's what you said. Call central access. Call central access. And you said what? And I said, I just reminded myself to call central access when I get back inside. You asked me this morning, central access is our internet. Mm -hmm. We changed. We, we don't need the internet over there where the camper was yes, the anymore. Campers. Because if y'all didn't hear, Longhorn Lester came and got our camper. Long Lester and Jamie got our camper. Today. They got our camper. Yep. So we no longer needed the internet service over right. there. I told myself to cancer, cancer, cancel, 
cancel, cancel Central Access. Cancel Central Access. Jason asked me this morning, did you cancel Central Access yesterday? She don't listen to herself. See, that's the problem. Yep. She's got to listen to herself. <laughs> if somebody would listen to me, you gotta listen to yourself. then this would go a lot better. That's right. You got to listen to Nobody yourself. listens to me. So that's on right. Thursdays, I'm going to talk. So y'all listen to me. That's right. Because I am tired of nobody listening to me. You know, and I do talk, and I'll, I'll answer myself too. I'm, I'll be out there in the garden. I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I use this perlite instead of this vermiculite. And I'm like, you know what, Jason? That's a good idea. The perlite's going to work. So. And, and I don't think anything about it. <laughs> don't think anything Except about when it. he's in the house <laughs> and it's like, you know, he knows we're all right here together. Oh. And I say, huh? And he says, oh, I'm just, just talking to myself. Well, I know why. I do. I think, I, and I think it's a coping me mechanism because my mind goes all oh, just like this, 100 miles an hour, and I can be doing one thing, and then 15 seconds later, my mind's jumped to another thing. So I think when I talk to myself, I got to keep myself straight. Well, I'm that way somewhat, but I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I'm not as bad as you, and I'm not as bad as Mary Carl. Yeah, Mary Carl is just like me. And 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 it I, it is. I tell her sometimes you you just like your daddy you just mm -hmm. like your daddy and I don't mean that in a bad way but they have like I guess you'd say a one track mind yes yesterday I came from the garden I know what I did I cleaned out the chicken coop mm -hmm. so I took the manure that I had in my tractor bucket and I went over there and I put it in a compost pile. Mm -hmm. I turned the compost with the bucket while I was over there. And by the way, it's some good looking stuff. So on my way back, is, is by, it good looking stuff? yes, sir. It looks great. Good. It's black gold. I need to keep turning a little bit more. I'm I know. I've been probably don't need it. to use it this year. It's, this year. Cause I'm probably, still adding manure to yeah, it. So yeah. it needs to right, right, wait till next right, year. Right. Right. But I'm on my way back from dumping the compost. See, I almost forgot what I was fixing to say. Um, I missed you up. I was on my mm -hmm. way back driving my tractor and I look over to the left. Jason left the water on. I do leave the water on. He let does me, let, leave well, the water me, on. And then it's, it's Moody's water that's the worst. Yesterday morning. Yeah. Yesterday morning. Yeah. Did I leave water on your No. Morning? Okay. Fridays, Jason, most of the time he has the video ready, but some this Thursday night he was really tired. I was. We, we, we we've been working extremely hard on the aviary, on the aviary in the garden. Yeah. And so Jason told me he said, "Brooke, I'm just too tired to edit the video tonight. I'm just gonna get it out tomorrow afternoon." Gidget and Arlo are playing, <laughs> if you hear anything. Sound like a football game. Fan. And I said, "Okay." I said, "Um, that'll be fine." He said, it's going to rain all day Friday, so that'll, you know, I'll be able to finish it Friday, get it out late Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that meant Friday morning, I, he didn't ask me to take care of his chores, but I just took it upon myself. And I was very appreciative. Because you were in here working mm -hmm. that I would do your chores too. So it had rained Thursday night mm -hmm. and I get down to where the boys live and Moody's barrel lid was not on his food. I don't know who would have left his barrel lid off his food, but they need to be yeah. fired. And I'm not trying to say I don't make mistakes <laughs> because I do make mistakes. <laughs> but uh, he has he has his yeah. mind on one thing, and he forgets. I do. It, it it jumps. It just jumps. And I saw a lot of people say, "Did I have ADHD?" And I I've never been diagnosed. I've never been to the doctor, but I probably do because I can't read books. Um, I, I, and my mind just goes crazy. Well, the water, what happens with the water is Moody's water and the boys' water is on the end. And it's right where the the, um, the electric fence plug is and all that. And the water would be down just about. I don't let it get low. Just It'll get like this low. And I, and I top it off every day. And so I'll cut the water on. Well, I just don't want to stand there. You know, I got things to do. I'm just standing there. It's a big trough, so it may take three, four minutes. You see that light? Yeah, it's coming off my... Yeah, somebody's saying about it. So but, it may um, take three or four three minutes. Three or four minutes. And then, so I'm like, I just ain't got time to stand here three or four minutes. So I go feed Moody and the boys is mm -hmm. what I do. So by the time I get through feeding Moody and the boys, whew, I don't forgot about the water. <laughs> the water and i'm on to the greenhouse or whatever 
So mm-hmm. yeah, I've I've left the water. I've left the water on for like a long time. So I retrace his steps. <laughs> Right after he finishes his chores, I'm right on his heels, oh, cutting off the water, Yeah, putting the barrel top back on, yeah. making sure the greenhouse door is shut. I'm just kidding. Everybody does. Oh, guys, y'all fixing to knock the light over everywhere. Everybody <laughs> has their quirks, Yeah, but it's comical. I told y'all. <laughs> Jason's pole. Do y'all remember that pole? It hit the ground. And it scared them to death, poor things. I'm sorry, Lolo. We had a light on and the dogs were playing and they knocked it over. So maybe we should put the puppies up when we're doing a live. Or do y'all not mind them? (laughs) We're back. All right. We're back. All right, so anyways, yeah, I'm forgetful, and so... Somebody said Peaches is going to fire you. Oh, she she would, but see, that's on the other end of the farm, so she don't know it. No, she don't know it. She don't know that I leave the water on a lot. See, I don't leave those on because... I do it. (laughs) No, 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 you don't do all those all the time. Um, It's because they're smaller waters... And you don't you, you don't have walk to walk away, away from them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you don't have to walk away from them. And so, you but know, you know the litter of me walking away from the water. But now what I've tried to do is, is when I, I try to unplug the fence and not plug it back in, and then that gives me. Well, you know what I'd have to do what? because I will forget. What's that about the water? What's that? Is um, I have to stand there. I don't care if it's a trough. I have to yeah. stand there because I catch myself. That's you know, right looking at the handle and not necessarily the water's running out of the end mm-hmm. of it, but I catch myself leaving the spigot up and I know if it stays on for a long period of time, It'll even with the, the water hose. Yeah, it mm-hmm. will. And, I and have we to got good pressure. Yeah. We, whoever built this, whoever put them lines in knew what they were doing. I <laughs> thought today <laughs> yeah. that I was going to fill up the dog's outside <laughs> water. That outside water. Let me tell you something. So I've got this. um, It needs a water hose bad. Oh my gracious. I've got a, what is it? A one gallon, a one gallon water for the little dogs that I put outside. And they have another one that's That's inside. That's right. So I want them to have another water outside, you know, so when they're, they're never shut up, but when they're outside, I cut this little spigot on and I went, (laughs) <laughs> and my water went one way and oh, I went the me. other way and I said to myself good googly goo yes I could not believe it it's a lot of pressure it it's, but I need to put the gauge on it Um, but I, last time I checked it in here was 80 pounds well I, I think love the high amount of pressure because yeah we've had water yeah on. yeah we've it's, been especially the camper wow the camper, because the camper is not on the new plumbing system. It's on the old plumbing system. And Lester and them won't have that issue. No, they won't have that issue. But for us, you know, our water was running through a mm-hmm. water hose that the, the pressure was just. And the water hose was 100 foot. So, and it was uphill. So by the time it got all the way up to the camper. I think it know, was so probably longer than 100 foot. Maybe. It was a long way. Maybe. Because that would only be 33 yards. Somebody says they make automatic shutoff water spigots for those tanks. So I might have to look into that. You know, I would, I can probably. Oh, there is the a little valve. float thing and, and you, all that. You have to keep Put the water, water hose, hose on, on it. All the time. I may look into I'm one of those too. Of those. If we're not heat wave well, that starts leaking. And we're never not pressure. here. And that's but, true. Well, you know, if it ran for just say a whole day, mm-hmm. this place would look like, well, oh, gosh. we could have a pond, couldn't we? <laughs> Ah, it'd be crazy. We can have a pond. Oh, my gracious. Well, we had some friends of ours. See, I'm not the only one what? that leaves water on because our dear friends, Gene and Tracy at Just Dig It Farm, Gene left the water on, and he didn't know it, and he left it on. But it was like days. Two weeks. It was days. It was a long time. She said their water bill was like 700 and something dollars. No, I think it was more than that. But anyway, they had one forgiveness they did. They chemicals. they got some type of insurance on the water on their water bill. And Jason was like, I "Wonder if we wonder have if that." We had insurance. <laughs> <laughs> they have like this insurance on their water bill, and they get one like um 
one what would you call it one forgiveness yeah one forgiveness yeah 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 so if you miss she said up, they won't do it over and over right. again but they'll let you she said it was like five dollars a month added yeah, onto the extra. bill mm-hmm. um, for the insurance and i do think i need to check on that because what if I mean, it could be me. It could be Mary Carl. It could be you. I don't care who it is, but yeah. if that happens, it would be a mistake. That's right. First off. That's right. And if they're going to give insurance on mistakes, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, it was a it was a mistake. That's for sure. I see, we got some people coming in late, I guess, asking about the cabinets. But our cabinets are supposed to have been, been postponed to Tuesday. To Tuesday. But we did pick our color out for the island, which is going to be this beautiful mahogany. And the vanity and the bathroom cabinets are going to be that mahogany color. That's right. And they're supposed to be here Tuesday. Tuesday. Somebody said that I keep cutting you off. That's okay. We cut each other off all the time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'll mm. be quiet. <laughs> Do we, we know. We've been with each other since 1993. 1993. So, so we, we, we know each other well. And if I cut him off, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Lester left, and I can't talk to him anymore. Oh, my gracious. We can't get in the word edgewise with each other. <laughs> I bet Jamie oh, thought, I have met Lester as a girl. <laughs> you reckon? I bet. Oh, my gracious. Oh, me. How's Ursula? Ursula's doing great. Everybody's doing great. Everybody's Ursula doing good. Ursula has herself lit. She does. She is not going back in that school bus. She is. She, she is. She is. She. Ha- well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you. No, off. go ahead. No, she. She is. Uh, she's perfectly fine now. I mean, she. She don't even. I don't even see her near the school bus anymore. To be quite honest with you. I was gonna say. Yeah. She quit school at the ripe old age of two. <laughs> she quit school. She's not her. going back on the bus. <laughs> she gave it up. Oh. Somebody man. said, "Who was our special guest?" Our special guest was um, Lester. We had to go back and watch, well, we'll say it again, but Jamie and Lester from I'm a Survivor Sanctuary or Longhorn Lester or Suits to Boots. That's their three channels. They on came YouTube. and they bought our camper. Yes. So we're very happy campers today. Ha- happy non campers. Yeah. And they're happy campers. I might have to go out and spend the night in the canned ham mm-hmm. one night just to get my groove back. <laughs> Maybe I should go park it across the pasture. So maybe it, so. it like... looks weird, y'all, looking out the thing, and oh, there's my. no, there's no campers. There's, there's no campers there's no out ca- there. There's not, not one. So, camper. so the next thing will be is that there's a power pole right there, right in the middle of our sight vision. There's a big power pole right there, and that's what fed as a transformer on it, and that was already here when we bought our property and it was a big hill there, but Mr. Greg cut the hill all the way down so we could park the campers there. And so this power pole is on this one little peninsula, almost like a little <laughs> Island. And it's just up there and we're going to get them to take that power pole out. And then Mr. Greg's going to smooth all this out for us. And then in the front of the house where the kind of campers and all used to be and kind of off to the left, Gidget. It's the reflection, baby. It's the reflection, baby. <laughs> Gidget's growling at my reflection. But off to the left, we're going to, that's just going to be grass and we're going to start planting trees there. And those trees will shade eventually because trees take a long time to grow. It's not going to be instant, but eventually those trees will shade the pastures and give the animals some um, natural shade, even though we got housing for them. But our driveway is going to curve around, so it won't be a straight shot like it is now. And, y'all, you'll just have to see it when we start working on it. I know y'all don't know what in the world I'm talking about, but um, that is our plan. So it looks, it's going to look very, very different. You know, I saw a video. I was doing some stuff, and um, I saw a video, and I was probably going back looking for some footage for the camper video, I think, when we, when we moved out of the camper. And gosh, our property looks way different now than it used to. I forgot about how there was a big mound where we parked the camper originally. That big oh, hill. Yes. And Mr. Greg, when we first put the camper over here, um, where we've had it the entire time, we haven't moved it since we had it. When you open up the front door, the stairs wouldn't even come all the way no. down because there was a huge hill there. And um, you could just step straight out into the ground. Oh. But um, Mr. Greg, cut all that for us and uh cut that heel for us and so luckily we didn't have that problem anymore but 
it um it looks it looks way different now so i can only imagine once this power pole's gone and that big heels cut back and then it's going to be it's eventually really grass and trees out in front yeah to us to um have that big okay, get closer i'm so sorry yeah it's been an eyesore to us to have that big gigantic heel in front with the power pole in yeah. it that we have to keep it weed eated and our weed eater went kaput mm -hmm. and so then we had to put that three-wheel thing and worried about rocks hitting the windows of the, yeah, camper. Of the camper and all that it was a stuff. mess it, was it a really mess. was a mess it i'm, I'm thankful yep. that you know there's no longer well there soon won't be any grass that needs to be cut on that hill because the hill's going to be gone. The hill's going to be gone. And then I could get out flat. there tomorrow if you want me to. And Not take... until we get that pole down. No, I can take the pole down. Yeah, but it's got a transfer on it live Don't wire. Matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. I cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we start a forest fire out there. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> What was Louis the Lightning Bug, you know? Don't mess around with power, power lines. lines. That's what I'm talking about out there. We went and break the law anyway. No. We we'll have to that. we'll have to call our buddy uh, Gary, and yes. he'll um at Central he, Access. He will come out here. He knows us well because we've had a lot of power poles and stuff done. So, <laughs> but that one does need to come down. It does need to come and down. We we were talking about how nice Lester's place looks with his driveway, and then that fence coming right down mm -hmm. beside his driveway. I do like driveway. I do like the the wooden fence, and we kind of had that at Little Cock too. The little wooden we fence. Did. Too, we did. Yeah. We had that, and it kind of jogged your memory as to you know, thinking that we could put a fence there on the other side mm -hmm. and the drive come along it and maybe put like some crepe myrtles mm -hmm. or something that's um that's a pretty visual that's along right. the driveway. That's right. So it's gonna look way different. It it's is gonna, gonna look, look way it's gonna different. It's gonna look way different. But guess what? What's that? It ain't gonna happen overnight. No, it's not gonna happen overnight. We still got a driveway we gotta work with and we, we got, got a grass. Grass we got a and potage garden. Got a lot going on. We got, but we do have a dog fence. We do um, got a dog fence. So uh, you know, it's just <laughs> kind of those one of those things where it's one step at a time, and it's plugging along. And and, and I guess we kind of get, you know, we don't feel like things are moving. But I'm telling you, when I saw that video, when I was looking for some footage to plug into a new video, I was like, wow, how much. It has changed here. Well, I don't know if you feel this way. Yeah. But I, And we hadn't talked about this off camera, so this is live action. Uh -huh. But since we moved out of the camper and mm -hmm. into the house, mm -hmm. I feel like I got fifth gear. Mm -hmm. Whereas I was in third gear when I was in the camper. And I don't know why. Hmm. That's interesting. You know what I think it was? What? I think it was a little bit of frustration uh -huh. going on uh -huh. that... We were just so, you know, in a tight spot with everything that was going on. I couldn't cook in there, and I can't cook in here for goodness sakes. But it still, it's still, it's so much more room to move. And I'm in my, my house. Yeah. You know? You know, I was thinking today, still don't feel like. Home. Yeah, not yet. This it, house doesn't. It doesn't. Still kind of feels like a. I want to maybe hotelish. I don't know. Well, Jason, we don't have any cabinets. No. Uh, <laughs> we're living out of cardboard boxes. Our food <laughs> comes in in bags and stays in bags. Oh, me, that's funny. Because it doesn't have anywhere to go. Oh, me. But I, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I'm just, I mean, I do care. I don't mean to sound like I don't care. I do care. Right. But I know the cabinets are coming. They're coming. They're coming. I'm not going to lose and any sleep over it. I'm just, I'm over it. Yep. My, my, um. Going to be here Tuesday. Well, Something's going to happen this week. Something's got to happen No, we're not going to be, today's Saturday, so. No. Next week. Oh, yeah, today is Saturday. One more. T tomorrow, start the new week. Something's going to happen. Though. Something's got to happen. Something's going to happen. Because, um, well. Has your mom moved in her house yet? My mama moved in. Two days ago. She is officially moved. And y'all, she's been sleeping on a day bed. <laughs> in the tiny house. Yes. Sleeping on a day bed. Well, you know, it served its purpose. That's right. It slept real good. That's right. But this bed that she's sleeping in now, I'm told, <laughs> sleeps much better. <laughs> she probably she probably didn't know how much she missed sleeping in in a in a larger bed. That, you know, and I felt the same way. I yeah. just, 
it, the, it's just the mattress is different. Right. You know, it's just, it's a bed. It's, it's not, a bed. It's not a camper bed. It's not a sleep number bed. It's yet. not a sofa bed. No. It's not a day bed. It's a bed. That's right. It's a bed. A real bed. A real bed. You know, when we were looking at mattresses for our bed, I told you we may have to get one of them well, mechanical, what do you call it? A sleep you, number. Is that what it is? You press the button. And yes, sir. Like it goes into one or two or whatever. And we're going to get there, but we're not there yet. Not there yet. I do have a hard time seeing the TV, though. And I didn't got now where I think if I'm in the bed, I've been watching TV on my phone versus on oh, the TV. Oh, my gracious. Well, I can see far away. Yeah. Well, not really. But <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't goodness. see. I can't see. I should ask Mary Carl. Oh, I me. I can't see. I can't. Um, if I don't have my readers, yeah. then you can forget me seeing anything close up. Right. And I can see a little better further away. Mm -hmm. Okay. I clarified that. I can see a little better further away well, than I can close up. I can up. see with my glasses, but I don't like laying in the bed with my glasses. I fall asleep and you, you wake up and they're all like this. My daddy wore glasses yeah. and I can remember him, you know, falling asleep with his glasses on, mm -hmm. watching TV. Watching and TV. realistically, we probably shouldn't watch TV before probably we go not. to bed. <laughs> but it's the noise, though. It is it's the, the noise. Because I got now where I'll just, you know, I'll cut the phone on low and listen to the, uh, podcast yeah. a podcast and 15 minutes i'm but gone it's the only time we cut the tv on it really is it's the on, only time except on saturday during college football season and when you and mary carl watch something and when me and mary carl watch something. but it's not hours upon hours it's just um i would reckon to say that we you would probably, reckon to say yeah that's how that's look that up that's how, that's the correct way to say that okay i would reckon to say that as a family for for seven days in a week, we probably watch as a whole three hours worth of TV. Yeah, I was thinking thirty minutes a day, and that adds up to two hours and ten minutes. But that would be cutting it close. So let's say three hours. Yeah, as a family, three hours. Probably as a whole group. Yeah, yeah. probably so. So give or take. Give know, or take. We could probably do without a TV, and we'd be just fine. I'm probably so. <laughs> but I've always been like that. Even as a kid, I did not watch TV. I did not watch TV. Well, today I couldn't couldn't watch the game on TV because it was on Fox, but I found it on my phone. So I watched the last few minutes on my phone. So And you and I when we were when we were dating, mm -hmm. um, I was seventeen when we started dating. You mm -hmm. were eighteen. Mm -hmm. And we did watch a lot of movies, but they were at home. We would they go were. to the to the VCR, the VCR store. store. Be well, kind and rewind. Um, <laughs> what was it called though? We had well, what was it was Jerome. Yeah, but what, what was, was that called? called? Oh, gosh. I can remember it to this I day. I can see it right now. Um, man, that's gonna drive me nuts. Me too. And then you had the one across the street yes. where Mike worked. Yep. And I don't know what the name it was either. But Jerome's was the. The drones was the not the blockbusters. One. We lived oh, in a small before, town. Yeah, this was before Blockbuster. This was your local, locally owned uh, movie places where you would rent movies. Yeah, it wasn't it? Was a uh, we had Blockbuster, but it was on up. Yeah, in but it was way, way on later. down the road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This was uh, independent, um, and they didn't have any of the brand new stuff. If they it did, was they had good, though. No, they don't have, have one. one. Or two. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to get there early. You'd have to call them. And say, hey, I reserve want it cold rambo for him because uh -huh. i'm coming to get it that's right <laughs> but we would enjoy watching movies together yeah, and right. i always fell asleep always fell asleep always fell asleep mm -hmm. and then i would have to be home if uh we were at your house or whatever right your parents house i'd right. have to be home at nine o'clock and you know so if i fell asleep i better get myself up and home by the end and same with you. Same with me. Same with yep. you. You spent more time at my house than I did, I did at yours. I did. And it was probably because um, my family lived in the city. Yes. In a neighborhood. That's right. And you lived more out where our little cog farm was. Mm -hmm. So you got off work and came straight to my parents' house. I did. Whereas I went home after school at 17. So. Yep. 
anyway. Plus, I was a, I was a, I was a boy, so I think I had a little more, more lenient. lenient See yeah. versus the girl too. Yeah, but. and my mama and daddy would make him go home on school nights by yeah. like, gosh, Jason, remember. it's almost eight o'clock. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, it's almost eight <laughs> o'clock, kids. It's almost eight o'clock. Yeah, and you would have to go home. Gosh, I so. wish I could remember the movie. What was the name of it? Let's go. I just it's gone. It's gonna drive me crazy. It's gone. Somebody, somebody from my hometown is gonna be on our live or send us a message after it's over with and say it was called this and we're gonna say oh man, man. i can't believe we didn't remember that man i can't i remember our first vcr i do i was playing little league baseball and i'm guessing 10 or 11 year old or 11 and 12 11 12 year olds i'm thinking because i was playing for people's bank mm -hmm. so it was 11 12 year olds and so my dad called my mom well, we didn't have cell phones back then, so I don't know how he got in touch with He stopped with her. at a payphone. But he had to tell her that she had to run because my dad owned a little electrical business and that she had to run to the shop. That's what we always called it, the shop, and pick up a set of plans for him. And she was hot as a firecracker because we were at ball practice, had to leave there and drive all the way back out there. And she's like, God, oh, I'm just, I can't believe he forgot the plan. But when my dad was playing a joke on her, well, not a joke. But he was distracting her because he bought the family a VCR, and that was the surprise. And so when she got home, he had it all hooked up, and we had our VCR, and that was our first VCR. And I think the first movie we rented was one of the Rockies in Rambo. Huh. Sure. And I remember the first time walking in that VCR store. Boy, ooh, all those movies, y'all. And Charles, my daddy loved Charles Bronson, so I think we got a Charles Bronson movie, too. I can remember my aunt had a um, camcorder, ooh. and she came to one of my softball games, mm -hmm. and she recorded it with that camcorder, and us watching it when we got home on the VCR tape. Really? Yeah. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. And I still got that tape. I saw it in our Did stuff. you really? Yes, sir. Brook Softball is what it says. Well, I used to make home movies, and I think that's why I like doing YouTube so much. But, but uh, my mom had that big, you know, it weighed about 62 mm -hmm, that's pounds. That's what this was like. And I used to edit and make home movies when I was Mary Carl's age. And me and my buddies, and I loaned those out to a friend of mine. And then he loaned them out because the movies were really silly. We were teenage boys. And so we made really goofy, silly movies. And I was so wished I had those tapes. So Who's wished. Who's got them? Well, Lee the Bender, dump my probably buddy, has my them buddy Lee Bender had well, them. Lee might be listening. Lee, if you are, you better get We've those tapes We've talked about together. it before, and they were really funny. And so he gave them to somebody else, and they – and so I – so. I think they're gone. <laughs> you were talking about you were playing baseball yeah. for People's Bank. Okay, playing so you were probably nine I was 11, 12. That was 11, 11 and 12. 12. Yeah. Well, that means I was 9 and 10 you at were the nine same and time. 10. So, so who'd guess you play what? For? I was the only girl in the whole Metaview Public League yeah. of boys baseball. And I wow. played for Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf Dairy. Mm -hmm. It was a... Um, they they were a dairy ice cream and milk, and, and it was out on Highway 80 in mm -hmm. Selma. It was a big deal back That's then right. to think that that place would ever not be there. Yep, and do you know who that was? That Buster was my Zelsky. my big buddy Buster. Yep, mm -hmm. Buster Zelsky. No, movie, no it movie, movie gallery, gallery. That because that it. was a chain that was before movie gallery. I thought that sounded. I like, thought it was not, too. This it was an independent family mom and pop store. It was before chains came out, so it well, wasn't movie gallery. Chains blockbuster. might have been out in big cities, but maybe not, not our city. Not in our little country bumpkin town. But um, the boys, um, they didn't like it because I got to play, and some of them got to sit on the bench. Ain't that something? You know what? I, you know what I remember. You remember those uniforms? Oh, yeah. They were like hard plastic and Not they had them only holes that, on. <laughs> but I was nine and 10 years old and I was a girl and they had holes all in. Yeah, holes all in. So, them. guess what? Oh, I had to wear a t shirt under bet mine. You did. Yeah. Yeah, well, they were horrible. They stuck to your skin. Yep. It was, mine was white. Oh, my, mine it was white. Writing. Mine it was white holes. with black writing. Hmm. We, we were in different leagues. I was at Edgewood. Which was on one part of the city. I don't know why we had two leads because our city only well, had that many people. But you, you think about it. Back then, it was a lot of teams. I guess so. I guess so. I guess you're right. 
um, it was enough to fill up both leagues and then mm -hmm. have playoffs. Remember? Have playoffs. And Meta then the, View versus that Edgewood. Was the, who, that was the championship game. Wow. Boy. This was in Selma, Alabama. People want to know what town it was. It was in Selma, Alabama. This is um making me sad. And the and the uh, the the shirts were that hard. I don't even what material that was back it then. It felt like vinyl. Now that you think back on it, but it couldn't have been vinyl. And the in the everybody, it wasn't no fancy writing. You know, it was, it was block like, shirt shack it was, letters. It was just real block letters, like they ironed them on with the iron. So my hat was um, royal blue, and it had a C on it. Well, I was just thinking, I think ours was just solid black. I don't think we had a letter on ours. We had a C on ours. And it was the biggest truck driver hat. It wasn't oh, yeah. like these. It was it like that four string. times bigger than that. Yeah, it had, it had that, that string <laughs> right along it. And I looked a sight <laughs> with that hat on. Oh, my It was my a trucker gracious. hat. And here I was, a girl with long hair. and whew. It was something else back then, wasn't it? I can't believe that I ever, um, I ever did that. Really? Played, played... I just was not very outgoing at all. I mean, just yeah. kind of stayed to myself and was very reserved. But I can remember them saying you had to go to tryouts. Oh, you had to yeah. Go to tryouts. Had to go to tryouts. And y'all, it was for real. I mean, like they threw a, a very high pop-up. Yeah, they did all kinds of stuff. Um, you had, you know, to go through all these drills. Mm -hmm. And I was so scared I wasn't going to make it. But thinking back. There's no way you couldn't have made it because it was just placement. They didn't want all the good people to be on one team. And they graded you. And yeah, I remember that. I remember, and I remember I always had very good tryouts, but I remember one year had a horrible, horrible tryout. tryout. And it was just stupid stuff that you normally would do with no problem and just horrible tryout. And what ugh. position did we play? What position did you play? Well, I played second base for the longest time. And then in my teenage, the, the last year I played was 13, 14 year old. Then I got burned out. I was tired of playing. And I played center field then. But I was a little fella, y'all. I probably weighed, God, I was tiny. I was teeny tiny. And m what I figured out my advantage was I was so small that I made a, I would, I would, my stance would be where my strike zone would be so small that I got, I walked a lot. So I was always lead off batter because I would walk a lot or I'd lean into the pitch and I'd get, I'd get hit. I'd hit, hit, you know, on purpose. And I learned how to bunt really well because I was so small. There's no way I could, I couldn't hit the ball very far because I was, I was a tiny youngin, but I got on base a lot. But as I got older, I played for this one team. And this is, this is tell you how serious. City League Baseball could get. Mm -hmm. I played for, this was my 13, 14 year old years. So I played. Y'all, so I was the best outfielder, or not best, but I was, I played center field, so I was a good outfielder. But when it was my turn to bat, they would call my name out, and they would put this six foot four kid out there <laughs> to bat for me, and they never got caught. That's just they Crazy. never, how in the world they never got caught to this day is because I was probably three, six and, <laughs> and what's <laughs> crazy is 52 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> and what's crazy to me is, <laughs> is even though <sighs> even I knew all the players on the other teams. Yes. So how could the coaches not no know? I no idea how, I don't know if they were intimidated by it. I don't know if that all other teams cheated and they didn't want, you know, they to get caught. Well, that I, wasn't I teaching y'all very how, good. Well, ended up happening is, is I eventually got, I got upset because I wanted to hit just like everybody else did. Um, You know, I played center field. So when it was my turn to hit, I wanted to hit too. So what ended up, <laughs> ended up is, is my mom got upset because I got upset. And so I think she, threatened the coaches it's and all that kind of good stuff and the next thing i know i'd done been traded and probably the first <laughs> ever trade in the history <laughs> i didn't know that city. part oh yeah i got traded to another team because and they then got played mad second at base. your mama they did they did get they got mad at my mama um but I, there was and that team was slap full of a lot of good players that we would know y'all this would have been in the 80s like 85 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 86 yeah this is in the 80s yeah. 87, yep. something like that. But I played when I played for the first time ever, which was with the boys. Mm -hmm. I was nine years old and 
never played ball except for in my front yard, didn't have any siblings. So all I did was threw the ball back and forth. My mom and daddy didn't even really know the rules, Yes, but I could catch. Yep. And so I was in right field, but from that point on, it was on. It was on. It was on. You was passionate. I was passionate. Yep. All I cared about was softball. Mm -hmm. And all I cared about in my life was to be the best softball player I could be. And I succeeded at being the best. But look where it got me. It got me right here on this couch telling y'all about it. Because <laughs> I didn't go to college and play softball. Well, they didn't have fast pitch college. Nah. They didn't have girls college softball teams. Alabama didn't even have mm -mm. a softball team. So, the University of Alabama. Yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't near as popular as it is now. No. Now it's crazy. Times have changed. Isn't it changed? Isn't it crazy? But Mary Carl has no interest in any kind of sports. Her sports is sporting pigeons. Mm -hmm. That is a thing, sporting pigeons. The racing pigeons. Well, they're called sporting uh, they're pigeons. They're not called racing pigeons. No, that's, that's, well, we'll talk about that on our video. <laughs> I, was going, I didn't even know I was fixing to say something I wasn't supposed to. But I didn't, I didn't finish. I ended up, I started out in right field and I ended up um, playing softball in the sixth grade at a, at the school you graduated from mm -hmm. on the varsity team. And I started and they were, you know, lots of seniors. So here I was in the sixth grade with a bunch of seniors. I got to play and, in the seventh grade, I stayed at that same school, got to play. Well, then the rival school in the city wanted me to come play there. Mm -hmm. But there were no, like, scholarships or anything like that. Right. It was just the fact that you would go to another school, and mm -hmm. they wanted you to play there. And they were a, a good bit more popular, for so to speak, in sports than yeah. the first school right. was. And so I transferred. In the eighth grade, mm -hmm. I transferred schools. But guess what happened? What? I had to sit out a year. Because you transferred. Isn't that crazy? Because I transferred from the same um, region. That's just, that just was. blows my I mind. I had to sit out a year. So my eighth grade year, I didn't get to play. That just blows my mind. I got to go with the it's team, crazy. you know, to the games. But I mm -hmm. had to sit and watch. And that was hard. And I practiced every day. Mm -hmm. But ninth grade, it was back on. I played shortstop and... That's where I, that's where I played the rest of the time. Shortstop. Shortstop. But now I'm a shortstop for Cog Hill Farm. We um we do have now, made me think about talking about baseball and stuff. Our little hometown of Selma, Alabama, which is what? Yes, this is a good one. How many people are in Selma? About twenty five thousand. No, it's not even that now. Okay. It's like eighteen thousand. Well, I would it's say small. It's a small 000. hometown, <laughs> and there is a a small school and. It's so a school I graduated from. It's a from. 1A school. It's a 1A school now for sports. It's crazy. There's a young man from that school that, and that his grandfather I worked with for years, he is now playing for the Baltimore Orioles. This is his first year in with the Baltimore Orioles. His name's Gunnar Henderson. He's 21 years old. His first hit last week was a home run. His first at bat first ever. At, yeah, it was first hit was a home run. And it's just crazy that, that he's playing for the Baltimore Orioles and was, you know, and I've seen him a million times because granddaddy worked with me. So just crazy. That little old town over there has got a young man for this, um, making the big leagues. That's, That's, isn't that crazy? It's that is just crazy. incredible. It is crazy. And I can't, I can't get enough of reading his statistics. I mean, yeah, I know. every I'm time constantly. I know that they played, you know, the, the first, <laughs> I don't watch TV, yeah, that's right. but the first thing I do is to read Gunner's statistics. Read Gunner, yep, yeah, first because thing. Because yep. he's just amazing, and how wonderful it is to he be was, from our hometown. He was, they thought he was going to be drafted in the first round, but ba baseball's crazy about because they automatically know how much money these guys are going to give them, and they turn down all these offers. Then he was drafted the first pick in the second round because the Orioles offered him a lot better package. And so that's where he's went and that's where he's been. And he's one year in and already in the majors. He's done gone from single A to double A to triple A. And he's and 21 like, uh, years 21 old. 21 years old. Isn't that crazy? Somebody that is keep, crazy. People keep saying, was it Green's video store? And mm -hmm. it wasn't. It wasn't Green's. Um, um, Jerome's last name was Cosby. Wasn't that right? Or Crosby. No, I, Crosby. Crosby. Because he was some kin to Sunshine. Mm -hmm, I think so. Um, we'll remember it. 
Yeah. All right. Let's take a few questions now that we're all pumped up. Mm-hmm. Um, How are the outside dogs? They're good. I've, I've shown Foxy several times. Um, Jewel and Sonny kind of are Brooke's mom's dogs. And so when they're outside. Don't lie, know, Jason. Them, she stole them. She stole her dog. <laughs> She stole our dogs. I called 911 and they wouldn't do anything about it. We called animal control. They it. said, she is your mama. And y'all have the same address. Ooh. I didn't call 911. We didn't call 911. But, um, but she did. She she fell in love. Eventually fell in love with them. And so. Yeah, she didn't have a dog. All yeah. she had was cats. Yeah. The dogs got along with the cats. Yeah. So they came so, in and never went back out never every now and then they come out and sunny comes out more than jewel does but i haven't seen sunny lately since she's moved into her new house so i think sunny is sunny rotten. Is chilling over there in the new house a lot so um foxy is still outside protecting and we do plan to get another livestock guardian dog once everything is settled in and we're through with driveways and stuff and I don't plan. know that we even talked about it anywhere except for a podcast, but mm-hmm. we lost Bear. Mm-hmm. It's been about two months ago. Bear, our great Pyrenees, um, he was he Seems was longer than man. that now. Well, time flies when you're yeah. having fun, but it couldn't have been that long ago because it was hot. Yep. Couple of couple of several months ago, right. we lost Bear. Mm-hmm. And he was, Bear was 11, 10 or 11. 10 or 11 years old. Because Mary Carl was teeny tiny yep. when we got him. But he just was an old man, and um, we do plan to get another one, but not right now. That's right. Uh, Miss Lewis and the two chicks are, as of to this this morning, they're still here. They're still here. So we're good with the Miss Lewis and the two chicks. Um, yes, Brooke's mom has moved into her house. She has. And she's in there full time now. When are we going to see Mama's house? She's got boxes from one end of the house to the other. <laughs> We're going to give you a tour. When I go over there to use her oven, yes. I park the Red Sea, and I go to the oven, and I do my stuff, and I park the Red Sea, and I go out the door. So I don't know when you're ever going to see it. But we'll, we'll 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 eventually show you guys once she gets through unpacking. Because we're kind of, what's happening is, is we're unpacking, and she's unpacking, and then. I can't help her. There's kind of, yeah, we're, we're kind of, so. As long as she's settled, right. we can do the unpacking at a different time. That's right. Somebody said Henderson is the real deal. You got that right. He's the yeah, real he deal. Is. Talking about Gunner from How's Baltimore the, Orioles. Speaking Gidget. of the outside dogs, they barking and Gidget's okay. fixing to get on it. Uh, the cabinets are postponed to Tuesday. Thought Miss Lewis had four babies. She had five babies. She had five Ms. babies. Nora. We had a video that posted last like week. She's watching on Facebook. Yep. So it did come out on Wednesday. Yep. So if you'll go co- Coghill Farm, type it in. Yep. You'll see that video and it'll tell the whole story. That's right. Where's our other little dog? All the three dogs are here. Dixie is an old lady. Dixie goes to bed early. And if we get a chance, we'll show her. But yeah, uh, I don't know where Arlo's outside. They, They're all, all the dogs are going nuts outside right now for some reason. So, <laughs> except Gidget. <laughs> Next video, will you please show your roadside roses? Yeah, I will. Absolutely. Sure How come will. we don't ever see your mama? We've talked about this before. Mama prefers to not be on the video. Mm-hmm. It's not her thing. She's never liked pictures. Yes. I, it's just a personal preference and we don't dwell right. on it. Yep. So. Pecan trees. We actually have two oh, pecan trees that a, a awesome follower. viewer and follower of the channel gifted us. And they came from Petals from the Past, and I've been babying them, and I'm going to plant them this fall. Are you going to get Brooke a bonnet for her tractor? Yes. Before next summer, I will have a bonnet. Yes. A we, bonnet. we talked about it, talked about it a hundred times. Um, we're going to get one. Uh, just been... We, I don't want the plastic one, but we may end up getting the plastic one, but we'll see. Um, somebody said, how about the stair rails? What? I talked to him Monday morning, didn't I? Wasn't Monday, it Monday morning Monday or, or was Tuesday. It last Friday, maybe? I can't remember. I talked to him this month. Yeah. <laughs> and he's working on them, so yes. I hope hopefully it won't be too much That's longer. That's right. I'm not um, going to put pressure on him because... Right. We did get us a couch order, though. We did get us a couch order for the upstairs. For the upstairs. So we'll get it, hopefully. Hopefully, it's supposed to be here Monday, right? Yes. We ordered it through the mail. We didn't want mm-hmm. anything super fancy or anything. So right. So we just mail ordered it and 
Should be here Monday. That's right. And then it'll be here po- hopefully before the rail. I'm sure it'll be here for the rails. What's the name of Brooke's new channel? Jason changed it. It's still the same. It's Mrs. Cock Hill Farm. But it's now MRS, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. MRS. MRS. Are you going to show the storm shelter? We did a whole video about the storm shelter. So um, you may have to go back and look. But we did a whole video about it being installed and everything. Somebody says that the dog that used to watch Mr. Greg, and that makes me sad because yes, Bear was the one that used to watch Mr. Greg and Brent and the Builders. Matter of fact, if Bear didn't show up, because Bear Bear would got where he would roam, you know, roam the property and stuff, and he may be later on in the morning or afternoon before he popped up, and Brent and the Builders would get worried if Bear didn't pop up. And um, yep. Well, you do from your 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 podcast from the couch once you get moved to the loft. Absolutely. Yes. That's going to be our podcast room upstairs. Because right now, this table that Gidget. this table that we're doing the podcast from is actually our coffee table slash um, kitchen table, dining kitchen room table, table, dining room table slash office table. Yeah, it's, slash it's a lot of, school a, desk. Yes. slash <laughs> it's got it's got a lot of um, multi purposes. Oh. A theater popcorn maker. We had one at the old house. We did have one at the old house. And I can't just let things sit, so I sold it, but we'll probably buy another one. We're going to get another one. Absolutely. We're going to install a ram pump. Yes, when the snakes quit crawling. When it cools off a little bit, we're going we to We saw a rattlesnake that was dead in the road. Right down up the, the road. road. I mean, right when you turn on to our road. I saw on this person's social media page mm-hmm. that that snake was a rattlesnake mm-hmm. that had 13 rattles. 13 rattles. And now I wish we would have turned around. Yeah. Because, you know, you we could see how big it was, mm-hmm. but we couldn't see the... I've never seen the rattles up close on an actual snake. I think I... I'm trying Mary to Carl think. had some rattles that Piper gave her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I've seen them like when But I haven't has seen them, them on a yeah, snake. I didn't either. And I don't want to see it on a live snake. Roller skate in the house. Her skates don't fit. <laughs> her foot's got bigger. And you know what? She kind of don't. She don't she care kinda, She kind of outgrew anymore. the roller skating thing. I have got bag after bag after bag of clothes that the child cannot wear. And if y'all saw the video of us leaving the camper and moving into the house, yes. you saw from October to September and how much. Well, that video may have been in August. October it, to August, how much she's grown. It may, it may, that video may even been in July when we bought the camper. July or August. No, no, no. When we first I'm talking went in. about the last one. When oh, you showed how yeah. How big she was when we bought, bought it the camper. Now. Crazy how much she's grown. She Crazy. Can, she cannot wear any of her clothes. Mm-mm. Lucky, lucky Eleanor at um, Head, Head Family, Family Farm. Farm. <laughs> <laughs> she's been getting some hand me downs. Yeah. Sure has. All right, just a couple of more, and we'll um, be done. Mm-hmm. Who? It's like it slows down. Who it? died of old age? Bear. Oh, Bear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somebody was answering somebody else's question, I think. Yeah, I think May Carl's grown yeah. four inches, too. Oh, yes, no I think so, too. No doubt. Yep. When we when we moved here, we were joking because she couldn't ride the Hulk. Yeah. The, the roller coaster that's at Universal Studios that's because crazy. she had to be... 52 inches? Yeah, I think so. And she wasn't big enough to Mm -mm. ride the Hulk. Mm -mm. And I was always scared because she was so tiny riding those rides that she could go underneath the the belt, even though she was qualified. Mm -hmm. But now, my goodness, she she qualifies as an adult. Crazy. So crazy. What size is Mary Carl? She's like an adult small. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. We had to, well... I had to get her a pair of jeans because all <laughs> hers are either high waters or, and that means too short mm-hmm. or um, too little altogether. Yeah. And so I bought her an adult size zero. <laughs> adult size zero. Adult, adult size wow. zero. And the length fit perfect. This one lady said, did we get the thing that she left us at the Flying Peach? Yes. And yes, we did. And a matter of fact, I think we got it the next week. Yeah, we, we, we enjoyed um, our dinner, and thank you very much. Mm-hmm. 
tiny house will be taking a hike as soon as we get it. Um, yes. Absolutely everything out of it. Everything out of it, clean and all that kind of good stuff. Please tell about Lester and Jamie buying your camper. The, I think they're going to get, they got a video on it. We talked about it earlier in this video. Is there yeah. a video on Facebook too or just YouTube? I think they're going to post one on YouTube. I don't know if it came out tonight or today or if it's coming out in the morning. Uh, would an aviary work for the peacocks? It would, mm -hmm. but we don't have any reason to keep them confined now because, um, first of all, we can't catch yeah. Edna and her two children. Mm -mm. And Ozella would have a fit if we... Plus, I don't know. I'm thinking the peacocks and the Victorian crown pigeons... Oh, that wouldn't work. They then and the Victorian crown pigeons not so much the peacocks. Yeah, they, they're just walking around whatever. But the peacocks will stalk them up and down from time to time. And I don't think it's because they think they're pretty. I think they want to fight. So um, I don't think putting them in there would be a good idea. At I all. thought they meant would it work for peacocks, something mm -hmm. like that. That's right. But I may have misunderstood. May have misunderstood. Lester's if uh, it's. Somebody asked what channel would their video be on. It's either going to be on I'm a Survivor, uh, Donkey <laughs> Sanctuary, or Longhorn Lester, I think. So it should be on one of those two. What is the distance from us to Lester? It's 10 hours, isn't it? Nine hours and 38 minutes. Yep. It's a pond pool? No. No, it's, it's not. not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to cool off some. Hopefully it, this, this hope we'll, have, maybe we'll have a wet winter and it, it, it'll start going. I mean, you know. Although we've had some some good rain here lately. Somebody it, said their video is on what Facebook. Sorry. I just saw it's that. gonna have to rain a whole lot mm -hmm. to fill the pond up, but it's gonna happen. And I talked to Jamie today about keeping the pond clear yes. and the um additions that they use to 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 keep it that way, mm -hmm. to keep it from being murky looking. And there's no point in us doing that now mm -hmm. because it's not near about full, but um one day. One day. One day. That's right. All right. We need to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up tonight. And guys, wait, we, wait, are we going to weather the baby male goat? Uh, or if you missed, you must have missed the video, but we have uh, gotten when well, I got rid of, but he been rehomed. He went to an amazing farm that they were wanting a. Well, first of all, they don't know about JJ. Obviously, JJ was the first male goat mm -hmm. and our Dear, special, precious friend over at Daybird Aviaries, Robert. Mr. Robert mm -hmm. Day, was needing a buck. Mm -hmm. And I'm all for keeping them intact. Mm -hmm. If somebody can take them and take care of them and keep them intact, let them do that. That's right. Robert's going to take awesome right. care of JJ. So JJ went to Robert. Mm -hmm. Rabbit. Rabbit. I had bought a bander yep. to have him to, to band him ourselves. That's right. Because he was this close to being to the age where he could breed with the other mm -hmm. females. So we we're either going to have to a put him in with, um, topper and Joe, mm -hmm. crazy Joe mm -hmm. and Moody. And he was, you know, even though we went in this time, he was able to breed All right. or have him cut, which mm -hmm. would have been ideal. Mm -hmm. The vet around here wanted to wait till he was six months, which is out wouldn't of the work. question. Wouldn't work. He would. Yep. He's producing mm -hmm. ingredients by mm -hmm. then, so that wouldn't work. Right. Or band him, which I'd bought the bander, and that's what we were going to do. That's what we were going to do that night that before we were going to band him. I had a family up in um, South Alabama mm -hmm. in Andalusia, and they messaged me and they asked about rabbit because they had some. Nubian does, and they did not have a buck. Did not have a buck. And y'all, he went to the most precious family. Beautiful farm. Beautiful pasture. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful area. So we are very comfortable with Rabbit and JJ mm -hmm. at their new home. That's right. And being intact breeding bucks. That's right. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't movie gallery either. I no, it was that. before. It was way before movie, way movie before gallery. Movie gallery. Yep. Yep. So but we, we still have Paris, the, the female. So. Yeah. Paris yep. will be here. Yep. Paris will be here. That's right. Paris, the screaming goat will be here. <laughs> no, we're not on a whale. No. Good night. Guys, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be good.